Well hello, welcome to Symphon Moor Church and welcome to this DVD, a look back at the KB Sunshine Discos. Why is he doing this, you ask, after 20 years, and it is 20 years since we had the last one? Well, it's because they're still talked about to this day, and it is 20 years since we did the last one, and it's 35 years since we did the first one. So, there we go. A lot of you will remember these posters in the background, being very familiar at the time around the church centre and in people's homes. They used to go up every month. And of course, we finished up doing discos from the late 70s to the early 90s. It all started with Richard Orchard coming around to my home one day and saying, I here did a disco for you children at the last church, which was incorrect. I played some records at a Christmas party. But he talked me into it because he said, there's nothing for the seven to 14 year olds in the area, so I'd be so great if you could rig something up. So he did, thinking it would be a one-off. I was wrong. 125 discos later, I think we finished, but it was well worth it. The children enjoyed it immensely, and um, they were always talked about. People used to stop us in the disco, in the, in the sorry, in the supermarket, and say, "When's the next disco?" There was a lots of enthusiasm for them, and it was remarkable how they did go. Um, it was 25 pence to come to a disco, and it never changed. I, I insisted on that because people struggle bringing families up, a lot of expense. And that, all that money, and from the refreshments, went all back into the children, really, because I always insisted that that money was spent on the children. So they went to pantomime at Christmas, or they had a, a day out in the summer on a coach. So that's how it all worked. And it was really appreciated. Um, so, sorry for looking at my notes, but... Um, I'm just going to tell you in a moment that the, the climax came when we had the one on the disco, but just, just a quick one. Two items of lost property, two purses there and a little home. Now you might just recognise them, we come forward 20 years later. Could be up to 35 of course, but uh, lost property from disco. The climax came, I think, with the discos when we did the 100th because we invited parents and friends and on that night the children have been rehearsing and of course since I do video we made some disco videos and the kids loved it because they could see them at future discos on the monitors so popular that the year afterwards we had to make more and you're going to see all those in a moment there's a short version that lasts about half an hour there's a longer version later that lasts us 50 minutes and in between that we've got some general disco it is a bit noisy but I have to apologise about the quality of all of it because we're going back to the early days of video, nothing like today with DVD, so I'm sorry about the quality, but at least you can see them and we do get the flavour and enjoyment of what went on. And um, so that's how the disco, that's how the programme will work, the DVD. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that was involved with the discos, from people getting them ready, taking it all down on a Saturday night, getting the church ready for Sunday morning, and of course the teams of people that helped at everyone. There was usually six men, six ladies, men on security duties, ladies doing refreshments. It was quite a, a job at some times, and it was very noisy, but everybody enjoyed it. The children really appreciated it, and we used to get parents say, oh, it's so good you do those discos. We even had children having birthday parties. The parents arranged for them to come down here and they had the party at the disco. So thank you very much to everyone that helped. And we hope now you enjoy watching these videos and what the bit of disco we've got to show you, and it will bring back the disco years here at Symphony Moor Church.